Ben Prisneros here, folks. Today, showing you this Wonderlight Voyager chair. Get it. This chair is made with lightweight materials, has a compact pack size for storage in just about any vehicle, and a collapsible frame for easy setup and pack down. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. This is how the Wonderlight Voyager chair looks when you buy it. It comes in this synthetic carry bag here with a couple of grab handles on each end, weighs about 1.45 kilos, measures about 50 centimeters by about 13 centimeters by around about 17 centimeters, depending on how well you pack it up. Inside the bag, you just get a couple of components. I'll just open this up now. So you get everything all wrapped up in one. You've got the outer sling here and then the frame inside and that's secured by a strap here. You can also put the strap right around the outside of this part as well, if you like. Undo this strap and we will put the frame together. So we'll show you how to put it all together shortly and then we'll run through all the features. So if I take this off, this whole frame is all linked together with shock cords. You can see there's shock cord in between all of these. So just let all this sit together as it naturally wants to go. Don't sort of flick it into place, put it into place carefully. You don't want to be too rough with the alloy. This goes right through this center pole here. So this leg here goes right through. Let me just put that one in place and I'll demonstrate this one. It pokes right through there. And then the other end goes on there. So that's a continuous frame or continuous pole right through uh, the main upright there. And same on the other side here. Take this one all the way through. And that's our frame. So we'll sit this upright now and we can put the sling in place. Now just bear in mind that these uprights here have got a bit of a curve in it. So they will want to sit so the curve is coming up this way, not down that way. So just spin them around. We can adjust that again after anyway. Grab our, our sling here. Obviously the front is where the wander light is going to sit upright. You've also got just inside here, there's a bit of a, um, you can't take it out, but it's a padded sort of pole in here just for a bit of rigidity. So that goes at the top at the head end. And on the back, we can see we've got these pockets here. That is where we put the frame. So first thing we want to do on top is put the frame in the pocket like this on both sides. We can then, if we want, lay this down because we've got to come to this end. And you'll notice on these, you've got little grab handles here to make it easy to pull over the frame. So the first one will be easy. Just hold this and pop that over the top of the frame. And this one will require a little bit more muscle, not too much though, just to pop over the other side there. And that's the chair all set up easy as that. Now, let's cover off on some of the materials. Uh, this sling here is a 600 denier polyester with a, a poly mesh on the sides here for a bit of breathability too. And that's all bound on the edges here with this uh, nylon binding, the nylon or polyester binding, so that the edges are uh, nice and secure. The corners are all reinforced, so you've got, I don't know what this material is, but it's like a PVC pouch here where these um, poles sit into, and it's all reinforced around here. There's a bit of extra, it was like a, a firm or a flexible plastic in here to give it a bit extra reinforcing on the corners. And the frame is all an aluminium alloy. I'm actually just gonna pop this off again to show you a few details on this. So this is an aluminium alloy here. All these end pieces, if, if you do at any time over the life of the chair need to replace the shock cord, this is all easily removed to, to fix any of that shock cord. All goes into a main hub along the bottom here, which is just a, an aluminium alloy tube. And then on the very base, you've got these little rubber feet, which are actually removable. You can pop these off if you like, but you probably wouldn't need to. You can see there's another, um, just a plug in the end there, so you can adjust the shock or replace the shock cord if needed. These are just a rubber rubber foot, so if you're using it on a slippery surface, that's going to stop it sliding around too much. But this is also going to minimise the amount that these sink into soft sand or, or dirt as well if you're using it on a soft ground. Overall dimensions of the Voyager chair is about 97, 96, 97 centimetres in height here. That varies a little bit. And it's about 70 centimetres deep. It's a bit hard to measure that, but it's about 70 centimetres from front to back. About 55 centimetres across the front here but that narrows down to around about 30 centimetres, sort of at this point here, it's a bit hard to measure just where you, where you will be sitting, it depends on how much you slouch down, and roughly sort of 35 centimetres in seat depth from about the furthest back point there uh, to the front. And seat height at the front here is about 40 centimetres where that sits at the moment, but obviously when you sit down in that, it, it um, 
sags down a little bit and it's a little bit lower down here. So probably down more like around about 30 centimeters to this point here. So um, reasonable size for such a compact chair. In terms of comfort and stability, it's got 120 kilo weight rating. Um, and to give you an idea, I'm 185 centimeters tall. So if I'm kind of sitting upright, if I was to use this at a table, obviously it, it lays back a fair bit at the back there. Uh, my legs are obviously sloped down, so it is quite a low seated position if I was to use it at a table. Functional, but probably not ideal. But in terms of just lazing back around the campfire, if I slouch down a little bit, I feel the, the sling just follows my back, um, back here, so I'm supported all the way. Leaning my head back, um, this stiffened bar across the top here is quite well placed just to sort of sit at the top of my spine or base of my skull here for a bit of support. So I feel like I can rest my head. I do feel like I could just fall asleep here if I liked. It does feel quite comfortable. Um, the chair rocks around a little bit because the al aluminum alloy has a bit of flex in it, but it doesn't certainly doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart on me. The only thing you don't get with a compact chair like this is those big arms that you can lay your, um, or the, the soft arms or the hard arms that you can lay your hands on or lay your arms out on or rest on or something to push out of the chair. So you kind of either you're hanging your arms down the side or just sort of putting them over the top of you like this. But you don't get those arms, but you get such a small pack size with this chair with something that's actually pretty comfortable. Um, and yeah, I'd be able to sit around the campfire in this for a good number of hours uh, and enjoy watching the sun go down. That's uh, all the features of the Wanderlite Voyager chair. I'll pull it apart now and show you how easy it is to put it back in the bag. The first thing we wanna do is lay the chair on its back and take these two off first using these little pull handles here and we can lay the sling down flat on the ground. Once the sling's off, we can go ahead and assemble, or disassemble, sorry, the frame bit by bit. As you go, just lay it alongside this central piece here. So lay all these pieces down holding it in your hand as you go until everything's collapsed and in one bundle in the middle. So at this point, we could use the strap to secure the poles if you like, just to keep them all together. I've put it straight on top of the sling here and I'm gonna roll all this up inside the sling and then use the strap to secure it afterwards. You don't even need the strap, you can stuff it in the bag without this if you like. To be honest, that strap's probably more mucking around than it's worth. You can probably just put it straight in the bag like this. The fabric just squishes down a little bit on each end, but the, the poles fit in nice and easily. Tuck that in there, pull it, make sure the sides are pulled up so it sits right at the bottom of the bag. Zip does up nice and easily, and that's your Wonderlight Voyager chair, all packed up, ready to put back in your vehicle and move to your next campsite. Wonderlight Voyager chair, a really affordable uh, option. If you want a camp chair, but you don't have the space to fit some of these big camp chairs in your vehicle now, you can fit two or three of these in the same space as some of those quad fold chairs. Check these out online at snowies.com.au.